here and welcome to today's special live stream here on the Affiliate Marketing Dude channel. And I hope we're not getting that little box that I see. Good. It looks like we're not getting that little box on the screen. Some kind of new focusing thing I'm trying on the camera. So welcome today. What we're going to be doing today is talking all about content. What kind of content do you need to write to actually start getting results? What kind of content? How much content? What do you write about? Do you do video? Do you do audio? Do you do press releases? Do you do text? Do you do uh, outsourcing? What kind of content is actually going to make you money? So we are going to get started right Right here, right now, and we're going to talk all about content and how to create your content strategy. I got seven tips for you today about how to create content, how to go through and make a strategy that's actually going to get you traffic, get you results, communicate with your audience, and make you some sales. And in addition to that, I have a big, huge, long list of different types of content you can create. So after you watch this, not only will you have a content marketing strategy, but you're also going to never run out of ideas of what to make for your market. And we are ready to go. We are going to get started right now. All right, so welcome back. If you guys are listening live, type it in the box. Tell me where you're listening from and your name. Looks like we got Philip from Jamaica. We got Drifter from India. Kevin from Norfolk, UK. We got Bridget from Memphis, Tennessee. We got... Uh, Javier from Spain, Dwayne from California, and lots of other people coming on. Christopher from Annapolis, Min Maryland. That's the one. Uh, Anthony from the UK. Stefan is joining us here today from Ireland. Um, he said he went from making around 600 a week. He's got to start changing his ads. So we're going to help you with those ads as well. Ask towards the end. Uh, Every Little Thing is joining from Oklahoma. Brian from Canada. David from North Carolina. Issam from Tampa. We have have Bad Dog from Portland, uh, someone from Mashak, someone from Canada, lots of people here joining in. And today what we want to do is we want to talk about content. What is your content marketing strategy? You're going to notice on the screen, we're switching it up a little bit. Uh, on the screen, you're going to see up top the joinmarcus.com link. You can always go to joinmarcus.com and follow me. Uh, we got a Facebook group there that you guys need to be following. If you're here on my YouTube channel and you like our stuff, you're going to love that Facebook group. We're interactive. We talk about ads. Uh, that guy who was talking about AdSense ads, um, you can go in there. You can say, hey, this is what's going on. What do you think I should do? And we'll answer you and everything like that as well. Uh, there's also links for our program. Simple Sites Big Profits is going to go in detail into what you're going to learn today and our high ticket niches, which has been by far our best offer for people looking to get started with making money online because we actually hook you up with a website, build the website for you, get you a niche, everything. It's kind of like a done for you. You just plug and play your content, put your offers on there, and you're ready to go. So that is the best way to get started. Uh, if you've been watching me for a while and you want to get started, do that. That is the way to go. All right, awesome stuff. You're also going to see our High Ticket Niche banner over there, up there, and then our content strategy. Now, this little box where it says content marketing strategy is where our notes are. Okay, at the end of this video, I actually hire a full-time person, actually a bunch of them, uh, that go through and watch my videos and make notes on the videos to provide them to you. If you're interested in getting notes from any of our videos, you can go to downloadmynotes.com. That's downloadmynotes.com. You can get that, uh, all of our notes and everything like that. Really good stuff for you. Uh, but we're going to go through this, and you can take some notes on your own and everything like that. Uh, Raul says, what about Kartra? When is that going live? Uh, the Kartra launch is actually going live tomorrow, but you can start getting in uh, on our bonus at kartprofits.com. That's K-A-R-T profits.com. Now... Without any further ado, let's go ahead and dive into the content marketing strategy. Now, what is the idea, right? A lot of people say, Marcus, you know, I've heard that content is king, right? We got this. We'll make like a little king hat here, right? Here's our king hat. This is a terrible king hat. It looks like, like a glove or something like that, but that's our king hat. A lot of people say that content is king king. And hopefully you guys can see what I'm drawing there. We'll try to make it clear. Um, but content is king, right? Is content really king? No, it's not king. People think that content, the more content, the better, everything like that. Okay. Content is not king. What is king is focused content based on the way people search and the way people do things online. I'm going to say that again. Content is not king. What is king is focused content 
that is designed based on how people search and how people act online. If you get this combination right, which once you go through this, it's going to be really hard to get it wrong. But if you get this right, you are going to get traffic, you're going to get sales, you're going to get people visiting. Obviously, results not typical guaranteed, anything like that. We don't know what you're going to get. But if you follow this plan, it should work for you. And, you know, as you go along, you want to tweak and say, oh, did that content work? Did this work? Um, everything like that. Because we want to go through and get you a plan that's going to work. Get you a plan that you can stick by. So let's go ahead and dive into the content marketing strategy here on the screen and we got our notes we'll just watch this little note box here so number one the first thing you want to do when sitting down to make a content strategy is to say well what what do I want this content to do okay that's the first thing like people are like oh I write articles I'll do this I'll do that um, you know like bad dog says hey I've heard this all the time people say hey check this out what do we do um, Raul says gonna start with the hub site or wait um, Raul Keep that towards the end, but you know I would get both. Start your hub site and your car trip. But what we want to do is we want to look at this and we want to say what are we going to do, right? What are we going to do to make this work? Because obviously a lot of you guys that are on this call have probably created content, right? There's a bunch of YouTube creators out there that get new, no views, make no money, are just like in the wasteland looking for views. There's lots of people who make articles and try to post things on their site or curated content, and they just don't get any views. So if that's you, if you say, Marcus, I have tried to make content online, whatever that looks like, whether it's one article, whether it's a blog, a website, maybe you posted something, a press release, whatever it is, type content in the box if you've tried some kind of content marketing, even if it's like the smallest thing. If you've tried it and you haven't gotten results, we're going to talk about why that works. And the reason we want to do this first and foremost is because I want to say, what do I want okay what do i want what is my what is my goal here is it just to put more content on the internet because we don't need more content on the internet i don't know if you figured it out but there's pretty much content on pretty much everything and there's lots of it right when you go to learn something and you go on youtube there's a thousand videos for just about every topic when you go out there and you look on google for things there's a thousand different opinions a thousand different ideas right we are in a world of overload where there's way too many options for everyone okay when that happens you either have people who just like abandon ship and don't focus on the internet which isn't happening i mean everyone's still using the internet or we have to make it easy for our customer we have to make it understandable we have to go through and say one, what do I want? Okay, so I have to sit down and I have to say, well, what do I want? Okay, what do I want to do? This is where we go through and we refine our market. We're like, okay, what do I want to do? Let's say I'm going to create some content and at the end of the day, I want to make money. Okay, yeah, that's good, right? At the end of the day, obviously we want to make some money with our content, right? Put content with some dollar signs if that's you. If you say, Marcus, yeah, at the end of the day, I'd like to make some money with my content. I mean, that's that's the goal. Now, more specifically, what we have to do is we have to define what we want and how we're going to get the money, right? How, how are we going to do that? Do we just write content about everything? Well, first of all, we need to go through and we need to find our niche market and we need to understand our market, okay? We're like, okay, well, I'm going to go and I'm going to do um, content on various plugins for WordPress. Okay, that, that'd be a good way to go. It's like, hey, there's tons of content you can create for plugins on WordPress. Or maybe maybe you're gonna create content on how to make your Instagram work, right? So you can make money with Instagram or whatever it is. And we go through and we're like, okay, what kind of content do I want? And at the end of the day, what do I want this content to do? Okay, so like right here on the Affiliate Marketing Dude YouTube channel, I sat out and I said, I'm going to make content because I want people to buy my stuff all day long, every day. That's what I want them to do. I also want to build a mailing list of people that are interested in internet marketing, affiliate marketing, making money, selling products online. Okay, so at the end of the day, I was like, well, I want people to buy my stuff, okay, whether it's my own stuff, whether it's affiliate stuff, and then I want to create a database of people who want to come to my webinars every week, people who want to open my emails, people who want to watch my latest videos, and I want to make that list because I know that those two things together is going to make me money, right? I want people that are watching my videos every day. Like right now, I think we're at about 2,000 people a day watch our video, which isn't that big. I mean, it's pretty small. There's lots of channels that get a lot more. Um, we 
have thousands of people. Every time I log on to my websites, uh, there is at least 10 to a couple hundred people, no matter when I log in. It could be like the middle of the night, a couple of people there, maybe 10 or 50 or whatever. Uh, sometimes during the day, there's a lot more. And so there's people all the time, okay? That's what we want. So people are consuming the content all the time. People are looking at the email list. And when I send emails out, lots of people go to stuff. Like just recently, I send a promo out. Uh, for something I was testing. And it's not even related to my list, right? My market here is about affiliate marketing. And I was like, well, maybe maybe they'll get benefit out of this other thing. And so I promoted the other thing as an affiliate. And it made, I think, close to $7,000 just in the beginning uh, on the trials. And then there's also residual income. So if everyone stays, it's a potential like $5,000 a month extra as long as everyone stays. I mean, so think about that. Just by the drop of a hat with one little tiny promotion, I could be looking at potentially $5,000 a month um, just passively, right? So we think about this and we're like, wow, that's pretty cool. That works. And the way that it works is because of the content I created. Right now, live, I am creating content, right? This is content. It's a live presentation where we talk about this stuff. So we got to focus on what we want our content to do. Now you're going to look at it and you're going to say, well, Marcus, what about me? I'm in the video game niche. And I'll be like, okay, cool. So, so your goal of your content would get people to watch your video game tutorials or look at your video game cheat guides or whatever it is and consume the content. Maybe build a list where you can come out with new codes for video games and things like that. And boom, you're off to the races, right? Does this make sense? If this makes sense to you, put a 10 in the box. And if it doesn't make sense, put a 1. If it kind of makes sense, put a five, right? Let me know where you're at because I want you guys to understand this because once you do this, what's going to happen is you're going to refine what you want and you're going to get exponential growth, right? You're going to create one piece of content. It's going to go out there. It's going to get some people checking it out. You're going to create another piece. It's going to get more people. And if you do it right, you're going to funnel people into your list. You're going to build a following. And at the end of the year or end of a couple months, you'll be like, dude, Marcus, there's all these people following me now where I used to have nothing. And it's all there based on saying, what do I want? So I want you right now to define what you want. What would you like to do? You say, Marcus, I like software. I love software. And it's like, okay, well, what kind of software do you like? Well, I love software that helps people do affiliate marketing or helps people with WordPress or helps people create videos or whatever. Or maybe you say, well, Marcus, I'm a farming kind of person. I like to like farm and maybe I want to find people that want to do that. And, and at the end of the day, I'd like to have 10,000 people that watch my videos 10,000 people that are on my list where I can email them stuff and 10,000 people who want this farming type stuff, right? So first and foremost, we got to refine our goal and say, what is it we want our content to do? What is the end result that I want? The end result, build a list, get people watching, get people consuming stuff, make money. Okay, pretty simple, All right? That's the deal. Now, if you do this right, you will end up with a super, super valuable mailing list. And I see this with people who don't do this right, and they got a mailing list, and they make like two cents per click or 30 cents a click, and they're happy with it, as opposed to where I go through and I make a really, really good living off of some small mailing lists. In terms of uh, the internet marketing world, it's not that big of a list, okay? So really cool. So the first thing you want to do is say, what do I want this content to do? Um, if I'm in the dating market or what to do after a breakup or how to get your ex back, right? What kind of content do you want? At the end of the day, I want a list and I also want to make money off of these certain products. So first of all, we got to refine what we want it to do. And we got to say, what are the products that this market is going to be interested in that's going to make me money, right? What is it that they're going to be interested in? Hopefully this pen will work, right? What is it they're going to be interested in that's going to make me money? And of course you could branch out just like that promotion I did uh, that wasn't a direct match but it works really really well all right cool um let's see here Christopher says I keep getting bogus emails on my list well you need to provide content that people actually want and you won't get the bogus emails okay uh Anthony says I love fishing have two blogs on fishing with lots of content and tips now Anthony are you getting results are people watching the stuff are they consuming the content um if they are and you're not making money we need to talk about that. If no one's watching it, we need to talk about that as well. So first and foremost, refine what do I want? What is my goal? Okay, when you sit down to make your content plan, you got to say, what do I want? 
What am I funneling them into? Now, this is important as the first step because as you create your content, you're going to look at it and you're going to be like, well, you know, I got this list of uh, 20 different affiliate programs I can use. So I'm going to create a video based on how to make a mailing list. Well, hey, check it out. I can put them to like Squeeze Blogs Pro. I can get them into like an Aweber thing and, you know, make 10 bucks a month as long as they're Aweber people and everything like that. And it's very cool. So really easy. Focus, refine, get your list in order so that when you create content, you're ready and you have every, you have all your ducks in a row and all your eggs in the basket so that you know what's going to happen, right? Because every piece of content has to have a focus, has to have a goal, has to go in and say, well, what do I want them to do? Sure, I want them to read it. Okay, so first of all, we want to look at it. Again, we're going through, we're refining our content. We are focusing on what is working. We're focusing on getting everything going. Okay, so uh, the example I was bringing up was the example of, let's say you're an accountant and you want to create some content and you can go through and make your content all about, um, you know, various different tax forms, various different things like that um, to where you're looking at it and you're like, okay, I'm making these tax forms and at the end of the day, I want people to come here to do this, et cetera, et cetera. And now we're ready to go. Okay, so we look at that and we're like, okay, that's what we want to do. We want to create, we want to focus our content on what do we want it to do. Next, number two, we're going to go through and look at defining our market. Okay, this is where we really define our market. And we say, okay, well, you know, I know I'm in the accountant market or I'm in the um, how to build a website market or whatever. Now what I want to do is I want to go through and I want to define my market. Okay, so second, we want to go through and define. Okay, now when you define your market, you're going to use your trigger words, you're going to use your subcategory words, you're going to use your glossary method, you're going to go through and you're going to focus on what do these people want, what are they searching for, how do we focus on them. Okay, now what you're going to find out is there's lots of other stuff. Okay, so if you're in the make money online niche, and I'll use that one because a lot of people know it, your only keywords are not make money online and affiliate marketing. They could be literally anything, right? You could go in and you could say, well, how to add a PayPal button to your blog. That could be a keyword, right? Now, when you have a keyword like that, you look at it and you say, okay, how to add a PayPal button to your blog. Well, you would go through, you'd say, okay, the content is going to be focused around that keyword okay so this is your content block you're going to focus on the keyword and then you're going to say well what do i want them to do at the end well maybe i can have them opt in and then give them a code for like how to put that button on their site okay pretty cool they'll put their name and email for that easily so we could go through we could do that we could start building a list and now you have a list of all these people who want paypal button on blog okay Obviously, you know, they want to sell stuff. Let's say you do another one and you can take take another keyword and say, well, what about like how to put AdSense on a blog? Okay, what about how to put like a mailing list on a blog? Okay, and what we look at here is the sky is literally the limit and you want to find things that work extremely well that you can rank for. Okay, when you make your content strategy, the problem that people have is they go in and they focus on things that are way too difficult to rank for, things that are way too difficult to get involved in, and they don't get any traffic, they don't get any results. So we got to focus on what really, really, really works. Okay, very important. Uh, funnel, keep that towards the end. We'll be talking about that question towards the end as well. Okay, so really cool. We want to take a look. We want to say, good, this is what we have. We make our keyword list. We refine. We focus. Okay? We make like a tree. Okay? Not like Biff. Make like a tree and get out of here. It's make like a tree and leave. Right? We want to make our little tree here and we want to say, okay, our goal, we take our goal of what we want and we put it here. Okay? And we say, well, what else would get people to the end result? For example, let's say uh, like the launch we're doing for the software program, uh, the CART Profits, K-A-R-T Profits. Dot com. Okay, for this one, I could go through and I could say, well, what does this software do? Okay, now this one's pretty cool because it pays me a residual as well as bonuses and things like that. So I can look at this and I can say, well, what does it do? Well, it's got an autoresponder. It's got a shopping cart. It has opt-in forms. It has mailing list. It has automation. It has a membership site. It has all this stuff. So I take that and I branch out my tree and I say, good, this is all the things that it does. Now I go through and I take those things and I put them in my keyword tool and I'm like, boom, here we go. Now people who want to add the PayPal to their blog, this will do it. 
So I create my content with the loaded idea of what I want them to do next. Okay, so like the accountant would be like, here's how to fill out your 1099 form, but also here's how to save money as a business owner because you know the 1099 form is linked to businesses and uh, you know uh, freelancers and things like that and you can help them with their taxes. Same kind of thing, PayPal button. Um, here's how to do the PayPal button, but if you want to do it a better way that'll make you even more money, here's what you do. Okay, really cool, really easy. Does that make sense to everyone? Type a 10 in the box if that makes sense, a one if you're lost and a five if you're somewhere in between. But at the end of the day, you should have some kind of idea of what this is looking like. Okay, let's say you're in the dog training niche and you're like, okay, well, uh, dog training niche, great. Um, at the end of the day, I want a list of people who want to train their dog and I want to make money with them. Great, that's your end goal. At the end of the day, we say, wonderful. Then you define, you make your tree, and you're like, okay, um, dog won't stop biting, dog won't stop barking, dog won't stop jumping, dog won't eat, dog won't sleep, dog is a maniac, dog is driving me nuts, dog uh, you know, doesn't like other dogs. And you look at all these different things that they want. Okay, you look at all these things you're looking at, and when you create content based on this, you are now making content based on the way people search, the things they're looking at. Now, when you do this for like social media and you maybe make Facebook stuff about it or whatever, the same kind of thing happens because what happens is people go to Google and MSN and Yahoo and whatever search engine to find out information about a certain topic. So like we have dog training here or we have internet marketing here. And now these people are going to go and they're going to search for different things. Okay. They're going to go in and they'll be like, my dog won't eat or whatever. Now this is going to give you a snapshot. This is like your white paper sheet of boom. This is what my niche wants. This is what they're interested in because this is what they're telling us they're interested in. When you go to create your content, you want to base it based on what they're interested in. So instead of just making a big article about how to train your dog, I'm going to make an article about doing a clicker training or the shaking in the can, put pennies in a can and shake it training or whatever kind of training we have. And boom, there you go. You're off to the races. You have your strategy and this will support your goal. This will get people to opt in. This will get people to buy products. And if you do this right and you focus, it's going to work really well uh, for you. So second, we want to define our market. Third, we want to select our media model. Right? What do we want our media model to look like? Okay, Are we going to go through, and again, when you create your media model, you want to make sure that it fits the market. Right, So if you are dealing with people who don't like to watch videos, then you're not going to do videos as your content. Or if you're dealing with like um, accounting spreadsheets, you're probably going to want to do like uh, Excel file. Okay, that's going to be your content or maybe a video training on how to, on how to do the Excel file. Um, if you're in a market where they like to read stuff, you write. Okay, uh, if you're in a market that hangs out on Facebook all the time, then you go through and you do the Facebook stuff uh, for your marketing as well. Okay, but we got to look at that and we got to say, okay, great. This is what I want to do. This is the type of content. Now, you can do all kinds of content and you can repurpose your content. So if you have all this stuff out here and you're a really good writer or you like to outsource writing or whatever, and you do that, you can actually also have people read that for you. You can outsource it for like $5, they'll read it, and then you can turn it into an audio. You can take that audio, you can turn it into a video. You can turn that into blog posts, you can turn that into PDFs, and ultimately you can turn it into software because the more content you create, if you structure it right, you can actually sell that um, to your people as well. Okay, there's a, a famous guy who did uh, all kinds of marketing in the dating niche, and uh, he would go through and he's like, well, my list will actually get all of the content in my product free if they stay on my list for a year, but I actually packaged it in a, in a little tool so that they can download it and get it right away, and people are buying it all the time, right? Just like me, I provide good content to you guys, you like it, and then you buy my other stuff. Okay, could you make money just watching my free videos? Of course you could. Right. But you come to me and you're like, well, I kind of like Marcus's help. I'd kind of like the software and tools to walk me through it. So I'm going to hop over to simplesitesbonus.com and I'm going to get his course because it's going to show me or I'm going to get a high ticket niche because I want him to find my niche. Right. Does that make sense to everyone? And we look at that and our content's going to set it up and it's going to make it really easy so that we define, we know what we want. And now when we create content, it is all created with one 
purpose in mind. It's like if you had a store, right? If you had a store and you had a bunch of salesmen in the store and all the salesmen were trying to do like their own thing, it's not going to work, right? People are going to walk out of your store and be like, that's a loony bin. But if everyone's congruent and they're like, hey, you know what? Welcome here. You know, I know you're looking for paper, but do you have this printer? And the other guy's like, hey, check it out. You know, this printer works really good. And the end goal is we want to sell printers. Then everyone's congruent. You want your content to be the same way. Congruent. This is what it's doing. This is what it's selling. It's following people to the same thing so that it builds over time. Okay. So number one, what do I want? Okay. You put that in the middle. Then you define your market. You define your keywords. You say, what are people looking for? Okay. Very important. Then number three, we select our model or several types of models. Say what you want to do. Do I want articles or whatnot? Okay, very important. Number four, okay, number four, we want to set up a CMS or content management system and a follow-up system. Okay, very cool. So what's a CMS? A CMS, uh, let's do three here. Three was, um, what was number three? Does anyone remember number three? <laughs> okay, there we go. Select our media. Okay, so number three, we're selecting our media. Okay. Number four, we're going through and we're like, okay, number four, we're going to look at it. We do our CMS. Okay. This is where we do blogs. Now, a lot of people ask me, Marcus, if I have a blog, is it enough? Yes. Having a blog is good. I make lots of money with blogs. Lots of my students make lots of money with blogs. There's lots of ways to make the blogs work. Okay. So good. We're going to use CMS system as a WordPress blog. And if you don't know how to set one up, you can go over to GoHubSite.com. If you follow the instructions, you'll have a blog in literally five minutes. Okay, that's GoHubSite.com. G-O-H-U-B-S-I-T-E.com. All right, so you go there, you can set up your blog. Now, what I also like to have is I like to have a follow-up system. Okay, follow up. Now, up until now, I've used all kinds of different follow-up systems. I've used Aweber for email, still great, still use them. I've used Infusionsoft. I've used all kinds of things. But I actually found one that came out, um, and it actually goes live tomorrow, but you can get it now um, at cartprofits.com. Okay, you can see it right there in the thing, cartprofits.com. What this does is it actually allows you to build your list, allows you to follow up. Uh, it's really, really robust, really cool. So what I do is I use my WordPress blog and my Kartra to follow up with people. Okay, very important. Now, what we want to do is we want to use our WordPress blog to post our content. So let's say I'm a YouTuber, which I happen to be, and I make lots of YouTube videos. Okay, I got these YouTube videos and I go through and I'm like, man, okay, so now I got like 20 YouTube videos or 500 YouTube videos or whatever. And you got these videos and they're out there and they're getting traffic. Okay, and if you do it right, you're like, hey, check it out. You know what? I got these videos. I'm talking about dog training or whatever, and you make a video on how to get your dog to stop barking, how to get them to stop biting, how to get them to stop this. In the videos, you're like, hey, by the way, if you like my stuff, go over to my site, dog man, whatever, right? Um, and they go over to your site here, and this is your blog. This is where you have your WordPress. Okay, so they're all coming there. And on your WordPress, you're like, hey, put your name and email. I'll give you some more tips. Yay, this guy's great. He wants to help me with my dog. And we do want to help you with your dog. And we do want to help you make money. But we also want to make some money here. So we're going to go through. And on our WordPress, okay, this is where we have like our sales stuff, our affiliate links, and everything like that. Now, the cool thing about this content management system is you can really diversify. So if you're a YouTuber or if you're a podcaster or whatever, okay, you take this stuff. Now, my YouTube videos live on YouTube. That's where they're at. They get traffic on YouTube. So here they are. They're on YouTube and they're watching my stuff. And some of them go over to my blog and they opt in. Yay, wonderful, great. Now, what I also do is I take these YouTube videos, and you could even do it yourself, or you could um, have it outsourced. I have it outsourced. I actually have people here in Florida that write for me full time, and they just watch my video, they make notes, they put the video on the blog with the notes, and refine it after the keyword I want. Nine times out of 10, they rank for the keyword, we get traffic, boom, now it's like a double serve, right? So I'm double dipping here, where I got the traffic here, and now I got traffic going to my blog directly. Okay, does that make sense to everyone? Really cool. Um, let's see here. 
Uh, Stefan says, I have a blog with lots of traffic. I just can't find direction for making money. All right, we'll talk about that because if you focus here, a lot of people get a lot of traffic, but they don't know how to make money off it because they didn't refine their goal. They didn't say, what do I want these people to do? Okay, very important. Okay, so now we're double, double dipping here. You can also go through and you can have a content written for an article site um, or your own site, or you can make a PDF and get them to download it. Uh, one of the most successful things that I've done is actually provide no for my videos. So you guys like the videos, you see the notes there, and you want like detailed notes on my videos. You're like, Marcus, I want some detailed notes. I think that'd be really cool. How many of you guys right now, you'd like to be like, well, Marcus, I like to watch this and I like to take some notes, but I'd like your notes. I'd like your professional notes that actually go through and I can print them and there we go, right? How many of you guys would like notes? Type that in the box. And one of the most uh, successful things that I've done is I go through and I say, go get my notes at downloadmynotes.com. And they go there, they put their name and email to get the notes. I'm building a mailing list. They get the content, which is on my WordPress blog. And now I can do whatever I want with those notes, put them on my site. I actually put them on my site uh, with the video. So it's really cool. It's getting lots of traffic. Okay. So that's what we want to do there is focus on that and set up our follow-up. Now, here's another thing. As these go through, these are now blog posts. So now I got my video, I got a post with the video and the notes. Boom. I can take that and I could throw that into my follow-up system if I'm using uh, cartprofits.com. Uh, that's the Kartra program I'm an affiliate of. So if you get it there, I get commission. That's how affiliate marketing works. And I give you lots of cool bonuses. You can find my bonuses as well. Um, I think you want to buy through me because I have the best bonuses on that. But now we go through and I can set up Kartra to where it's like, hey, this guy comes in to get my notes. Now I can actually make it to where it sends him. Uh, here's notes from this video. Here's notes from this video, this video, this video over like a course of 10 days. And I can make it to where all of them are leading him back to my product. Right. So now it's like, boom, 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 boom. There we go. Works really, really, really well. Okay. Awesome stuff. So that's how that works. We're going through, we're using WordPress. We're using our autoresponder or Kartra. If you want to use that at cartprofits.com, really easy. But now what we have is now we've tripled it right now. We're like, okay, now I got the video up or the article up somewhere. Then I have it on my blog getting traffic from my blog. Then I go through and use all the content I created to email the people, right? So let's say you're doing this for um, the dog training. And you're like, hey man, welcome, great. If you want notes on my video of how to stop your dog from barking and driving the neighbors crazy, you wanna go to dog notes, whatever, uh, downloaddognotes.com or whatever domain you get. They go to your site, they put their name and email, boom, they are now in your database. Now in your database, you can say, hey, welcome. I noticed you had an issue with your dog barking. There's lots of issues people have. I actually just made you a cool video on how to stop your dog from biting. So if you got a little dog and he's biting and he's annoying, here's what you do. Hope you like it. Okay, they watch the video. Hey, by the way, go get the course. Next one. You come in and you're like, hey, you want to learn how to stop your dog from jumping on you. Okay, cool. This is how it works. By the way, uh, I learned this in this book or this course. There we go. Really cool. Okay. And now we can have this go out over and over and over again, which is getting more views on your stuff, getting more people back to your blog, making more people buy stuff. Do you guys see why this tree is so important? Right. This is important because now I know one what do I want? I want a big mailing list of people who buy lots of stuff so I can make money even when I'm sleeping. Yay, we all want that. How do you get it? You get it by defining your market, saying what kind of media you want to go in, getting in there and setting up your CMS, getting your um, follow-up system in order, and using the same content for everything. Right? You could go through and you could tweak this very, very simply, very easily, and make it work in a really cool way. And when you have that tree, you're going to go through, and at the end of the day, you'll be like, hey, that content wasn't that hard. Yesterday, I made a video. It took me like 15 minutes to make. It was a pain in the butt, and I screwed up a bunch of times because I was tired. Um, but it gets people into the stuff that works, right? And the goal was, well, I know I, know I can help people make money online. Good. Great. But now what? Well, I know a lot of people on Instagram have a crappy link system that they get for free that doesn't get any clicks. So what did I do? I showed them, here's how you set up a WordPress blog that works on mobile that gets your links in a really cool way, right? And people are like, dude, that's awesome. 
And by the way, the other videos in this niche are getting hundreds of thousands of views. So now I just got hundreds of thousands of potential people. It's a new video. We only got like 500 so far. But we had like 500 people who are interested in this. And now it's a whole new market. Because I'm like, here's all the Instagram people. They want the same stuff that the other people are buying. They just don't know it yet because the result is there. Right? Does that make sense? Like if you find out um, how to clip your dog toenails is like a big thing and they're looking it up, you funnel them into the dog training or the take care of your dog or the pet insurance or whatever you made in your offer tree. So you got to have a content tree and an offer tree. Your content tree is all the words you could use and you branch out. Like I didn't even know the Instagram thing was going to be a deal back when I started this niche. I had no idea. I didn't know WordPress was going to be a big thing when I started this niche, but because of it, I'm able to get lots and lots of views. Now, here's the deal. In order to do the stuff that I teach you in the Instagram training, what do you got to do? Well, you got to set up a WordPress and you got to get hosting. I'm an affiliate of the hosting company. I get a hundred bucks every time they sign up. And for them, I'm like, check it out. You're going to get a free domain. So instead of saying go to bit.ly or link.tre or whatever the heck it is to go to the Instagram, you're like, go to affiliate dude or go to dog123.com or dogtips.com dot com or whatever you get your short domain boom they say wow yeah i want that because right now on instagram it looks really stupid so i'm like you can go there they give you the domain for free Ooh, hey check that out and when you get hosting you're gonna pay for these other services they're like 14 bucks a month you're gonna have your own managed service for like five dollars a month how many of you would like oh yeah i'd like that and they give me a free domain and i get free advertising and i get all this and i can host videos and i can have this and i can have people opt in and Holy cow, Marcus, that's awesome. Yes, I'll sign up. Boom, I sell them on hosting. I get anywhere from like 80 to uh, $125 when they sign up for that. Right? Does that make sense to everyone? Like once you have your goal, like, okay, my goal is I want a bunch of people to buy web hosting. Okay, well, who else needs it? Well, the Instagram people might need it. No one thinks to think that way. But if you think that way, you'll start to build things up. And I build a list. I'm like, get my free theme. So the idea is here's my video. That's my content. The giveaway is get the free theme. Literally took me like five seconds to make. Um, they get the theme and boom, now they're on my list. I tell them in order to use the theme, you got to do the hosting. Oh, by the way, you got to get these plugins. Hey, here's some other stuff, right? Same kind of thing with dog training. Um, people don't just buy a dog and have a dog. They go buy a dog and then they spend a million dollars at Petco and then they get like little foofy toys and they got to get food and then they get pet insurance and they get dog houses and they get dog... Um, doctors and things like that, right? Does that make sense to everyone? Type a 10 if that makes sense. Hopefully, uh, this is going through and showing you how this works because we want to give you a doable plan you can use. Now, again, if you want to go in detail into this stuff, structure step-by-step, -step, find your niche, everything, um, I would highly recommend you go over to simplesitesbonus.com, get our course that walks you through everything, or get a high-ticket niche where we actually pick your niche for you and we build the trees for you. We're like, here's your, here's your keywords, here's your offers, go. Right, so that's the benefit. Now, the high ticket niches, um, we are raising the price. The reason I'm raising the price, one, is because it's just way too much value for the money. And two, I kind of want to have more time to spend with everyone who gets a niche to kind of walk them through it. So I want to get less customers, um, more valuable customers where I can actually be go through and be like, hey, you know what, let's have a 30 minute call about your niche. And then boom, there we go. Uh, so if you want it at the lower price right now, uh, you could get it at highticketniches.com. Um, I think they're $9.97. It's going up to $19.97. Uh, and right now in this in-between phase, we're actually going to uh, test out the more help mark, the more help method. So we're going to get you involved in that as well. So really cool. Uh, Bad Dog says he's saving up to get a high-ticket niche. Awesome. So this is the idea here. Uh, one, refine your market uh, or one, figure out what you want. Define, number two, choose your media. Number three, four, set up your content management system. Again, you can go to gohubsite.com um, and get that and then get your follow-up. You can get at cartprofits.com as well. Now, let's go down to number five. Number five here. Let's see if we can edit 
make this better. I lost it in our computer crash there. All right, so we're going to go through. Um, and Duane, if you need a call, schedule it with uh, Alyssa. She's on live chat, and she's on our support system at uh, PCMoneyMaking.com. Um, she'll schedule that with you. Okay, so number, uh, number five is decide what efforts you can outsource or make easier. Okay, can I outsource um, videos? Can I outsource articles? Can I outsource this? And you could literally go through, um, we teach you guys to go to the place I buy content is at, um, I think it is, let me see if I can find it here. Let's see, I think this is it. Um, if you want to buy content, this is my affiliate link. Um, you can go here to getwebsitecontent.com. Um, and you can sign up. It's like five bucks for an article or something like that. But when you do this, you want to refine your article so that you go through and your article is based on the keyword. Okay. Cause otherwise you're going to get junk. Like if you go in and you're like, Hey, I just want an article on dog training. They're going to write about dog training. Like, Hey, dog training is really cool. In order to train your dog, you need to get your dog to do stuff, which is good. And dog training is this and dog training has been around this. It's not going to be something you want. So you want to refine and you want to say, Hey, you know what? I want like 18 tips on social media marketing. Boom. They'll go through, they'll make the, um, 18 tips on there and then you'll be ready to go. Okay, if you're on the live site and it's not working for you, just refresh the page and it'll work uh, or try it in another browser, okay? But you can watch us on YouTube here as well and it should work. Let me see if our live page is working. It should be working. Let's see here, live page. Uh, did I update it? Bear with me one second. Let me see if I updated it. I might have forgotten to update. No, it looks like I updated it, so we should be working. If not, you guys can catch the replay. Um, but that's the idea, right? We go through and we have them create the content. Now, when they create the content, um, you can go through and make it work, okay? Um, really cool. Okay, uh, Alana says, what about building a blog on Kartra? You can do that kind of stuff. Um, I don't recommend it on the Kartra um, because I like to have my blog separate and WordPress is a proven platform for that, um, and I use them together, okay? So really cool. We go through and we use that. All right, so uh, number five is we go through and we get the content. Um, you can have outsourcers write it. Like today, I could have had someone write the seven tips to uh, setting up your content machine to make money. Okay, I could go through and I could do like 10 tools that you need to you know, sell stuff on your blog. And I can have someone outsource that. I can have someone do a video. And now I have content. So you don't even have to be involved in this. Uh, you can have other people do it. And you just direct them because this is where the money comes from is understanding uh, where the market is. Okay, Wex says, what is your homepage content if you have a niche of the dog training? Your homepage content would be opt-in. So it'd be uh, welcome to the dog training. I hope you like my content. Put your name and email to get this. So like download my notes. I could set that up and say, hey, um, download notes from Marcus's latest video. Put your name and email. Then on the back end, I have all these pages and posts that are about the actual notes that are going to get ranked and show up in Google. Okay, hopefully that made sense. Okay, so number five, decide what efforts you can outsource or make easier. You can use uh, getwebsitecontent.com. You can use Fiverr. Uh, you could literally use whatever you want, or you could write it yourself, or you could hire someone to do it, right? Really, really easy. Okay, all right, so number six, and then we'll get into number seven, which is our last one, and then we'll get into the gigantic list of content stuff. Okay, so five was uh, figure out what you can outsource, what can I outsource? Okay, and again, if you want the notes from this specific video, I will have them posted up um, as soon as my uh, gal is done writing them. She writes them for you in a really cool way. She'll put the stuff that's on your screen and really awesome. So you'll get that as well. All right, so that's at downloadmynotes.com. And you can see that I'm actually doing what I'm teaching you to do here live. So really cool. Okay, and notice how in this content, I'm actually embedding sales links, 
right? I'm like, hey, you want to go there? Go get your content at getwebsitecontent.com. That's my affiliate link. I get paid when you get content. Uh, go over to cartprofits.com. I get paid when you sign up for the cart tool. Um, so what we're doing is we're embedding it. Go to simplesitesbigprofits.com if you want this. Go to high ticket niches. So we're going through and you're seeing how I embed it. Same kind of thing. Hey, if your dog's being annoying, by the way, I found this really cool thing. You can click it and you know the dog stops barking. You get that over here. Boom, done. Okay, so number six is repurpose. Repurpose. Okay, repurpose your content. Now, um, I repurpose my content everywhere, probably not as much as I should, but I do some, right? Uh, what I do is I share stuff on social media. So you can make a dog training group on Facebook and you can start posting all your videos in there. You can start posting all your notes in there. You can post tips. You can have people ask questions. You can build a huge community that's worth its weight in gold and you can sell lots of stuff just by simply repurposing the content. A lot of people think internet marketing is about writing an article and hoping it gets listed in Google. And if it doesn't, internet marketing doesn't work and everything sucks. That's not internet marketing. That's writing an article and hoping for the best. That's it. Right? That's, that's not marketing. If you do it the right way and you focus on this stuff and you repurpose it and you make good, valuable stuff, it's going to work. Now, what is value? Value is in the eye of the beholder, right? Some people will watch this webinar and they'll be like, Marcus is a rambling idiot. I think this sucks. A lot of people will actually go through and this, this actually helps, right? This helps and you're going to use it and you're going to go and you're going to follow this stuff and you're going to be on my next webinar and you're going to check out the things and you're going to go buy a high ticket niche or whatever it is. Okay. So really important. And we want to repurpose this again. I have a social media group. Um, there's only like 1300 people in it right now, but it's extremely profitable, right? I have an Instagram. I repurpose my content. I make little snippets of it. Done deal. One of the things I'm trying to find someone to do, I'm in the process of hiring someone now, um, is take n little quotes from my videos and turn them into Instagram posts. And then at the bottom, it's like, hey, if you like this, read the whole article. Very simple. Okay. Um, you can do this stuff. It's very easy. It's very quick. And you can put it everywhere. Okay. Alvin says, what's the downside of directly leading audience to your opt-in instead of your article or blog? Well, it depends on why they go there. Okay, so there's no downside for me to say, here's a tool, here's how it works, go to my site to get the tool, put your name and email. They'll get the tool, right? Simple. Um, if you link them directly to the article, chances are they're going to read the article and leave. Um, so I want to keep them there, and I do that by having an opt-in. Okay, so really cool. All right, so uh, six, repurpose, social media, video, blog post, turn it to a PDF, podcast, infographics, et cetera, right? If I make a blog post, I can also make that a PDF and I can give that PDF away in a mailing list or I can build it, I can give it away to build a mailing list. Uh, very simple, okay? Now, let's go on into number seven, okay? Uh, number seven is test, track, and refine, okay? Test it out. You put this up, did it rank the way you wanted it to? Well, no, why? Okay, or did it rank? Yes. Okay, why? Let's let's reverse engineer that. Let's fix that up. Um, we want to test, we want to track, and we want to refine our audience in a really cool way. But if you do this right, and you start with what you want, what do I want? I want a list of 10,000 people who have dogs who want to train their dogs. Okay, that's valuable. Like, if I had that, I could make a lot of money off that. Okay, so we refine that, and we're like, boom, there we go. Then we define. Okay, what do I want? Who am I going to talk to? What's it look like? Dog training, clicker dog training, dog won't eat, dog won't sleep, dog's barking, dog collar falls off, dog keeps scratching, whatever, right? All these things are your content you create. And then, of course, you go through and you're like, here's my money tree. These are the offers that I'm going to run. Okay, maybe a dog training thing, maybe dog insurance, uh, maybe... Um, you know, dog houses or whatever. And you go through and you refine all that. And then you go through, you get your media. Here's the media. This is what I want to do. Okay, we're going to do video. We're going to do podcasts. We're going to do this. Again, sounds like a lot. It's really not. I'm recording this. This can also be a podcast. It could also be notes. It could also be a series of articles. It could be tons of things, right? Just by recording it once, it takes me an hour and a half to do these lives. And then boom, I have content. Uh, next, Set up your uh, WordPress blog and your follow-up system. Um, you can do that at uh, gohubsite.com and at 
cartprofits.com. And boom, you're off to the races. Then you go through, you say, uh, what can I outsource? What can I make easier? What can I repurpose? And then you test and refine and you're ready to go. Okay, so before we go on, um, David Lloyd says, what tracking tool do I use? Uh, cartprofits.com has a great tracker. Um, that tracking tool is awesome because it doesn't just track, but it allows me to do an if then. So I could be like, if this guy clicks this link, I want to send him a PDF. If this guy clicks this, I want to put him on this list over here. If this guy clicks this, I want to send him a sales message for that. Um, very, very cool, very easy. And I mean, come on, what gets better than that? Okay, so for tracking, that's what I use. All right, so any questions on what we've gone over so far? Okay, we'll take some questions and then we're going to go into uh, the big list of content starters. What can you do? How can you build the content? Um, and everything like that. Okay, so we'll take some questions and I will jump over here. Let's see if we can jump over here and get this thing. Or I'll stay over here. This will work. I can see it still. Okay, uh, do I have a podcast? Not yet. I do want to make one though. That's something I've been looking into uh, for my sobriety website and for the money making one as well. Okay. All right. So we'll take a couple questions and then we'll get into the big list of content and then we'll get you guys uh, ready to go. Uh, everything sorted out for you. And then I got to put these videos together and make one since we had a crash uh, on the computer. Okay. So questions as we go. And we'll give you guys a couple questions and then I have a huge list of content starters that we're going to go through one by one uh, for you so that you guys can see Okay, this is what we want to make. And when you use this uh, content starters, you use it based on um, based on the keyword tree that you made. Okay, uh, let's see here. Where could you get more of outsourcing? Uh, well, we teach that in the course. Um, in the Simple Sites course, you can get it at simplesitesbonus.com. There's a section on outsourcing, and it talks about how to outsource everything from articles to audio to video to software. Um, so you can outsource just about anything. Okay, the Furman says, do you find that a single sales landing page with affiliate offer converts well? Uh, depends on your market. Sometimes you need to do more. Sometimes you can get away with a one page. Uh, do you create a new site on a new domain each time or have a general site with affiliate pages? Uh, I create sites based on niches. Okay, so if I'm in the dog training niche, I'm going to make a site about that. Uh, if I go through and I'm like, hey, you know what? Uh, Yorkshire Terrier training is a big one. Then I'll probably get a site on that one as well. <coughs> okay. Ray says, what would be the best way to go? Start with and have simple sites. And does simple sites have the templates for marketing, for making a blog? Yes. Um, if that's where you want to start, depending on your budget, uh, go to simplesitesbonus.com. Sign up for that. Um, it's $2.97. It gives you the software, teaches you all this stuff in detail, like how to do it, how to create it, how to focus on the keywords, how to find the keywords, teaches you everything. And then later, if you want to get a high ticket niche, you can upgrade later as well. We just, you know, do it for the difference. Um, so fair enough. Okay. So that's the idea there. Uh, a couple more questions and then we'll get into the big content list and then we will take it from there. All right. All right. Cool deal. And we'll get the show on the road. All right, so let's go ahead and dive into the giant list of content starters. Uh, Marcus, when I go to make a content, what do I write about? What do I do? How do I make it? Well, these are a list of content things that you can use, and it works really well. Now, Julian says, do I have an index of all site pages? Your WordPress blog is going to automatically do that. And if you set it up the way that I show you how to set up, your content will actually be selling even when you're sleeping. So it'll be out there getting traffic, getting you sales and everything if you set it up the right way and we're going to show you how to do that um i teach that in the course as well how to set up your blog the right way we give you plugins we give you tools and then it'll actually organize your content so that the search engines find it really cool okay so let's go into the big list of content starters here okay um we'll just go through these and i'll kind of describe them uh, one way is how to right how to 
build a blog, how to build a shed, how to make a chicken coop, whatever. Uh, how to is a great way to make content. Um, you can pretty much put how to with any keyword and usually it'll work. Uh, how to set up your Instagram links, how to set up this, how to set up that, how to get web hosting. Um, very simple. Okay. So how to is a good way. Another good way to make content is lists, right? List of software, list of, um, ways to make money, list of side hustle businesses, list of the best whatever, list of places to eat. Very simple. Okay, so a list can work really well. Also on list, you could go for the direct keyword. Like if you go to your Google keyword tool and you type in the word list, it'll be like grocery list, laundry list, moving checklist, right? And you think about it and it's like moving checklist. You can come up with all kinds of moving checklists as content, get their name and email. You know, the person's moving. You can get them into affiliate offers for like uh, moving companies, um, you know, insurance, rental insurance, how to buy a house, tons of stuff. I mean, the sky is literally the limit and they're looking up that list anyway. Right. Very, very cool. Uh, we found one the other day that was like child proof your home list. They want a list of things to do to child proof your home. Pretty easy. Um, Q&A. Q&A is a big one. Uh, like right now, there's software programs out there that are confusing and people are like, well, I want a Q&A. Does this do this? Does it do that? What happens if this? What happens if that? Right. You just go through and you answer the questions in your market. You have a Q&A. Um, that's a great piece of content is a question and answer thing. And oftentimes it's really easy to find. You can find uh, Q&A on forums and things like that as well. Okay. Um, another one is backstory, right? What about the backstory? Like, how did this start? How did it go? What is your backstory? What is the backstory on the product? Um, you know, what's backstory on the dog and things like that. Okay. Um, like you said, if I had the Yorkshire Terrier, should that be its own site or article on my existing site? Depends. Um, if you want to really rank and be the king in the Yorkshire Terrier market, get a site just for that one and then make one for Dotsons and then make one for, you know, uh, uh, I don't know, Weimaraners or whatever dog you have, golden retrievers, whatever. And then you're going to be uh, the big fish in all those small ponds and you're going to be raking it in and doing it really cool. Um, so it works extremely well. Okay, another one could be a case study, right? A case study. Hey, this guy used this software to get this result. This guy used this lawnmower and now his lawn is great. Uh, you can make case studies on everything. Another one could be customer reviews. There's a lot of people in the affiliate space that just do reviews. Um, now, when you do a review, you want to do it different than the other people because the other ones are really... Some of them are just terrible. terrible. Uh, some of them are done really good, and they focus on the questions that's going on in the user's mind. And all of this has to do with knowing what's going on in your user's mind. right? What are they thinking? Okay, they're going and they're looking at buying a product. What are they thinking with the product? What are they going to do with it? What are the questions they have? What's their apprehension? Why don't they want to buy it? Right? X, 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 Y. You know, you just put it all together and you're done. Um, so case studies work good. Customer reviews work good. Uh, quotes are good. Right? You could literally make a living um, sharing other people's quotes. There's people that do it on YouTube. There's people that do it all over the place. Obviously, you don't want to copy and do copyright infringement or any junk like that. But using quotes could be good. It could be the top 10 success quotes, the top 10 quotes for depression, the top 10 quotes for this. Boom, go to opt in and, you know, go to my site, opt in, get all these quotes or whatever. Or I'll give you a quote of the day. Um, and it works really good. Okay. Wex says, are you using the same WordPress theme for all your sites? No, I have uh, custom ones that we build, um, for my sites. And there's some that we give you in the simple sites course as well. Ray says, do you have to have hosting for each niche or are you going after, or do you make an actual main site name? Uh, with the hosting that we teach you at gohubsite.com, um, you can host as many sites as you want on one account. So it's like six bucks a month and you can host as many as you want, right? So doesn't matter. It's just six bucks. Uh, now you do have to buy the domain, but you can get those for like $8, uh, which is dirt. Um, if you're going in the market, I mean, I personally own probably like 700 different domains right now. Um, some of them we are actually giving to you guys in the high ticket niches. And some of them are very valuable that we give you in the high ticket niches as well. Uh, so, you know, depending on what you're doing, get a domain for it. Um, or you could host it on a different one, depending on the niche. Okay. Um, so we got customer reviews, we got quotes, uh, product demos. A lot of people like don't realize the value of a product demo. If I get a product and I'm like, hey, here we go. Here's this camera. Here's what we're going to do. We'll go out here and film. This is what the HD looks like. Here's what it looks like if you do this. Uh, here's how it works for live streaming. Here's how it works for that. Here's how it works for this, right? You just 
show how the product works, and then you link to your affiliate product uh, link to have them buy it. Um, so product reviews, product demos work really good. Um, another type of content is facts and stats. Right, facts and stats are great. Like uh, one of the things that went viral was here's what happens every 60 seconds on the internet. It was an image, showed all the stuff. You can find this information yourself or you can outsource it. I actually outsourced it. Um, and what I did is instead of an image, I made a little web page that actually ticks. So it's like, since you've been on this web page, this many people searched Google, this many people downloaded this, this many people did a Facebook, this, you know, so it's really cool. Um, Really easy to go through. Someone says you could probably buy domains for 99 cents. Yeah, there's always specials. They're always cheap. Um, you just have to do some digging to find them. Okay, so um, facts and stats is another good way uh, to create some content. Another one is a product review, like where you actually review the product, like this is what I think of it kind of deal. Um, another one is news, right? What's going on in your market? Uh, my buddy Owen is is really tackling this. He's like, hey, here's what's going on in the YouTube market news. And he does news stuff and he actually ends up on the news and um, he goes and does it and it works extremely well, right? He's just creating news or making news about a market. Here's what's happening in the dog training market. You know, this food has a recall on it. You might want to take your dog to the vet if you ate the food or whatever. Uh, this food got great reviews, blah, blah, blah. Uh, really easy. Okay. Um, so news style, you can make it topic specific. Another one is book overviews or reviews. Uh, here on my YouTube channel last year, I started reviewing books. I take a book, I read it, I make some notes and I do a review on it. And some of them got like 20,000 views, which is really cool. And if they're looking at the book, they're probably interested in the topic the book's about. So one, they go get the book. You could do it through my affiliate link. And two, um, I can get them to, into other stuff about that topic as well. So you could do uh, book overviews, reviews, summaries, uh, things like that as well. Another thing you can do is opinions, right? What's your opinion on something? Like a lot of people want my opinion on things. I don't know why, uh, but you know, they're like, hey, what's your opinion on this? What's your opinion on that? Um, and a lot of people like that. That could be content as well. Uh, another one is interviews. I knew a buddy years ago. Uh, he started a company back when um, they were doing teleseminars. All he did was interview people and he made a product about it. And then those people who he interviewed emailed their list and sent them to the product. So he had like built-in sales and content done. He made hundreds of thousands of dollars off that. Uh, in a really easy way. Okay, so interviews work good. You can interview authors. You can interview all kinds of people. Um, and if you're new and starting out, you can interview people who are new as well, right? Just make good stuff uh, that people are going to want to look at. Another thing is comics and cartoons. These work really well. Uh, you could do like a cartoon of the day. I know a girl um, who does SEO training, and she does like an SEO cartoon of the week. People love it. They're like, hey, that's cool. They go to her site. They learn the tip that the cartoon was about, and boom, you're done. Um, another one is success milestones. Like, hey, you know what? If you're teaching affiliate marketing, you'd be like, hey, Bob did this, and Bob made 900 bucks today. Here's what he did. Um, very simple. So you could do success milestones. You can talk about um, how things work, stuff like that. Um, another type of content is what didn't work and why. Right? I tried nine of these things and they didn't work the way I wanted. Why? Boom. There you go. Right. Is this making sense to everyone? Is this like vibing with you? Is it working? Right. Uh, are you getting the idea? Is this helpful? Uh, let me know because these are the things that I use on a daily basis where I'm like, I'm going to create some content. Uh, this is going to work. So on a scale of one to 10 uh, or one to a hundred, a hundred being this is super helpful. And one being, dude, why am I even watching this? Uh, put that in the box there. Okay, another one is uh, worksheets. A lot of people over uh, research. We didn't do that one. Uh, research is another good one. Like here's some research, uh, things like that. Okay, did I skip comparisons? Oh, yes. Comparisons are, you know, you go through and you're like, um, you could do Infusionsoft versus Kartra. Uh, you know, uh, Aweber versus uh, MailChimp or whatever. Um, very simple. Okay. Cool. All right. So we go through worksheets and research. Research is a good one. You just do some research on something, uh, learn about it, make a post about it. Uh, checklist. Uh, worksheets are good because people actually look up word worksheets. So you can go into the Google AdWords tool and you can type in worksheets and you can see what they want for worksheets. Right. Very simple. Okay. Um, checklists. 
very similar to worksheets, right? You make these, um, I like to make them downloadable. That way I can build a mailing list around them. Uh, so I could do like a worksheet on finding your niche worksheet, right? How many of you guys would love to have a find your niche worksheet or a how to find a keyword worksheet? Those kind of things would work extremely well. Um, how to train your dog worksheet. Okay, did the dog, did, you know, you just go through and, and there you go. Um, checklist, same kind of deal. A guide, you could make a guide. Uh, very simple. Okay, checklists are good because you can go through and be like checklist for moving, checklist for credit repair, checklist for that, checklist for this. Um, guides, you can put stuff together in like a little guide. Here's a guide on how to start your blog. Here's a guide on uh, how to train your dog to stop doing this. Here's a guide on um, filling out your tax form or whatever it is. Okay, another one is templates. You can give people templates. Um, themes and templates kind of go hand in hand. Uh, you could do like a template for a calendar. People are looking for this all the time, right? Every year, they're like, I want a 2018 calendar. Um, and boom, you make a little template. It takes you like five minutes to make in uh, Microsoft Publisher or whatever it is you use. You save it, and you're ready to go. You can do calculators, all kinds of stuff. Themes, themes are great. People make livings, big livings, giving away themes online. That's what they do, right? Really, really easy. Okay, um, worksheets for simple sites would be awesome. Yes, we do have some in there as well. Um, you could go through, you could do an ebook. Same thing as a book, you just save it as a PDF or in an ebook format. Um, another one could be an audiobook. If you got an ebook, you might as well read it, make an audiobook. Um, then you can go through and do infographics. It's like a graphic that explains whatever you're trying to teach and everything like that. Uh, you could go through, you could do spreadsheets, you could do cheat notes. Actually, cheat notes is pretty cool. Um, I have a friend I've known for years. He actually built an entire business where he goes to internet marketing seminars with a team of people. They all take notes. They come back, they compile the notes, and they're like, here's the notes from this seminar. Right? He's like, you don't even have to attend. Uh, save your three grand go into the seminar, here's the notes or whatever, right? Or even if you went there, you can get the notes as well because he'll probably get stuff you miss. And he just, that's all he does. It's his whole business model and he makes a killing uh, doing that in a really cool way. Um, but I really like that business model. And then of course you could go through and um, I mean, literally you could take notes on anything. I right? take notes on a TV show, take notes on documentaries, take notes on books, take notes on videos, whatever, start compiling that. And then you don't even have to come up with that much content. You're basically just uh, making things easier, like cliff notes. When I was in school and we didn't have the internet where you can like print out your homework, um, we had to go get cliff notes and you get these little notes on a book. You'd read them and it'd help you with the test. Same kind of thing. Like I made a fortune taking notes on stuff that already existed. Very, very easy. Um, let's see here. Cheat notes. That was our last one. Pictures is good. Memes. You can create memes. Uh, memes. You could do screenshots, video tutorials, uh, notes. Again, that was the example from my buddy Tim who's got uh, the whole business about all he does is take notes and sell them. Uh, emails. You can put things into courses. You can do press releases, surveys and quizzes. Um, let's see what else we got. Plugins. Uh, now plugins are cool because I actually have a business where I make WordPress plugins. The idea of WordPress plugins is to get people to buy stuff. Um, and it's really easy, right? You could make reviews on all kinds of WordPress plugins and then you could sell your WordPress plugin and boom, you're off to the races because you know they're interested in plugins, right? Here's a list of the top 100 plugins for this. Here's a list of that. Um, does that make sense to everyone? And if you guys are interested in plugins, uh, last week I mentioned that we are reopening our plugin partner program where you could actually go in, you buy the rights to one of my plugins, and I help you sell it, right? We set up your sales site. We set up everything. We like literally give you a business, and then you go sell it, and you get 100% of the profit from your plugin. You can drive them to other things we have, and you can make money. So if you're interested in that, um, go to affiliatedude.com slash, was it slash? I think it's slash partner, actually. Let me fix that. Yeah, slash partner. So affiliatedude.com slash partner, and you can learn about that. Uh, but really good program because you're actually taking it over, um, and I guarantee what the price is for that. It costs me more to, to develop the plugin, but I want to get you in there so that those of you who are serious about a business, we will actually hand you the plugin. The sales site will help you sell it. We'll set everything up, customer support, everything, and then you just go sell it and then get other people into other stuff, build your list. Uh, really cool. So for those of you who are interested in that, it is kind of expensive because we're giving you the plugin. Um, but for those that are serious about it, uh, affiliate dude.com slash partner. 
Okay. Checklist is always good. So guides are basically the same as how-tos. It can be. I mean, it, it's a little bit different. So yeah. Uh, do apps have affiliate programs? Yes, there's lots of apps that have affiliate programs. Okay. Anthony says, I have made two, two eBooks. Good. Now it's time to start selling them, right? Um, so yeah, plugins, plugin, uh, you could go, uh, affiliate dude.com slash partner. Next, you could do an advertorial, which is like in the magazines you used to have. I don't know if I have a magazine in here, but you used to have an advertorial that was like a how to slash sales pitch, uh, which works good. You could do reports, you could do webinars and trainings, live video, you could do presentations, you could do podcasts. Um, what else is there? FAQ, that's a good one, right? Frequently asked questions. You can also do vlogging, which is like putting video on your blog or video blogging. Uh, you could do syndication, which is getting your stuff out everywhere. You could do user-generated content like forums, and you can do social media. So that is the big list. Uh, hopefully you guys liked it. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to open it up for questions. Um, if you guys have any questions about content, content marketing, let me know. And we'll take those questions. Now, for those of you who like this and you can see the vision of, yeah, I could just create a little bit of content um, and build every day because what it's going to do is it's going to compound. It's going to build every day based on what you did the day before and it's going to get really, really, really big, right? And if you do it right, it'll start making you money and there's no way it won't work unless you quit or do it wrong, right? And you, you're not going to do it wrong. If you go to simplesitesbonus.com and you get my course, right, you're going to do it right because... That's the way it's set up. So let's take some questions here. If you guys got questions, type them in the box. Um, for those of you that are interested, the high ticket niches are at the half price right now. Uh, the price is going up to $19.97. Worth its weight in gold at that price, if you ask me. And a lot of people who have them would say the same thing. Uh, but again, I'm making them uh, more expensive. That way we get less customers, focus more on giving you guys a little bit more time. But if you do want it at the low price, highticketniches.com for the next four days. Um, you can get it at the old price. All right, so let's take some questions as we go through. And your high ticket niche, we're actually going to give you the market. So we're going to do these steps for you. Um, and what we'll do is we'll schedule a call with you. And I'll be like, okay, uh, what do we want your niche to do? Well, I want it to make a mailing list in this. I want people to watch my content in this. And then I want to define what they want. So we're going to go through this whole process with you in your high ticket niche. Uh, do I have plans to do another live case study uh, we do them quite often. So, yeah, I mean, it just depends on um, when we get you in there. So we'll do some questions. Uh, does high-ticket niches also include the Simple Sites course? Yes, if you get a high-ticket niche, we give you the Simple Sites Big Profits course. That way you have the training to go along with it. Okay, so hopefully that worked for you. Yeah, the case study kind of things are Fridays. This Friday, we're going to be walking deep into the Kartra platform and showing you how it works and how to set things up on it. I know a lot of you guys have a lot of questions about it. Um, my advice is if you have questions about it, sign up now with the trial, okay? Get the bonuses. Um, the bonuses that we have, we're actually, what I'm doing is I'm creating a community around that product. And we're going to have like a, a community where we go through and we teach each other how to use it, uh, which is really cool. And if you buy through my link at cartprofits.com, you're going to be part of that community automatically. And we're going to go through, we're going to show you how to use it. Uh, we're going to show you how to set everything up. We're going to answer your questions. I'm going to show you how I use it. Um, I mean, come on. It's like we're giving you the whole farm and all you're doing is buying a damn egg. So uh, really cool stuff. Uh, that's at cartprofits.com. Um, you can go there. The cart is going to be live tomorrow, but right now it's on a um, request invite. If you click request invite, they'll give you the invite. You can sign up. Um, Dwayne says he's in the cart truck community. Good. Yeah, and we're, we're going to teach you all that stuff. As long as you signed up through my link at cartprofits.com, uh, you can see the list of bonuses there. Uh, you will be included in that. I get a list of you guys that order. And um, as long as you're a member, you're part of the community. And my guess is, is you're going to be a member for a long time because that software works. Like my shopping cart software that I use, I've been using it since 2009. And um, I pay like $1,000 a month for that. So Kartra is like $89 for the cheapest plan. Uh, so come on. I mean, you do the math. Um, cool. All right. And it'll help you set everything up as well. Okay, so questions on the high-ticket niches. Um, again, the price is going up, so you want to get those now. Highticketniches.com. Sign up. Come in. Say, this is kind of niche I want. 
We'll help you find one. We'll get your domain. We buy the domain for you. We set up some content for you. We set up the opt-in pages for you. We link it all together. Uh, we show you the offers to run, how to make money. We give you a keyword list of, hey, this is how you build. And then you just go off to the races, ready to go. Uh, do I ever JV, especially when big bonus is on the line in a market you're already good at? Yes, uh, I do joint ventures. Not as much as I should. Uh, as you guys know, like, you guys are probably like, oh, wow, Marcus is promoting this cart thing. Um, I don't do it that often um, because I have to have something I really, really believe in, something that I really like. Um, because you guys are like my family. You guys are like my internet family, and I don't want to give you things that you'll be like, dude, Marcus recommended that, and that sucked. right? I want to give you things you like because next time I, I tell you to get something, you'll be like, dude, Marcus only recommends the best, and there you go. And you should do the same thing in your market with your content, right? Don't scrimp and just like, I see people all the time that are like, here's the latest offer of the day. And it's like, you know, you're selling these things and yeah, you make like eight bucks a sale and you make it all day, every day, but you know, you're pushing out junk and you always have to get new traffic guys on my list. There's, I'm guessing that there's probably someone on this call right now, um, or on this live training right now, who's been with me since like 2008. That's when I started teaching. Um, and I get people all the time who have like, they've been watching me for years and years and they make money and they, they get help and they just buy things because they like what I do. They like that I help them. They like that I'm out there to uh, kind of advocate for them. Right. And that's what you do in your market. You're the advocate. You're like, Hey, check it out. You know what? Um, I know there's a lot of dog training things you can do, but I personally don't agree with, you know, spankings or whatever. So here's what you do. And you give them a good product that's really going to work. You check it out. You make sure it's good um, and everything like that. And if you do that, your customer is going to reward you. And it's kind of like having a group of people that finance your whole life just because you're helping them out. Right? It's like, hey, I help you out with this stuff. I show you the latest software. And boom, there we go. Like web hosting, um, I get. I think I'm making like $5,000 a month. And I could do more. I, just, I don't do it that as hard as I should. Um, and, you know, think about that. What would five grand a month look like from one of your sites? That's like a tiny portion of my income, but it's automated, right? <clears throat> the cart thing, when we go through with the residuals, I'll start making a lot off it, right? And all I got to do is keep helping out. It's like, hey, check this out. I'm going to help you use this. And now I'm doing the service, right? Does that make sense? Right? Dwayne says he wants to be one of our success stories. Awesome. Uh, that's cool, right? So there you go. All right, so any other questions on this? Again, high ticket niches, if you want to get while they're on sale, uh, I will be raising the price in about four days. So if you want it for half price, go do that now. Um, and that's probably the fastest way to become one of my success stories is to get a niche from us personally. All right. Brian says he loves my help. Thanks, I'm glad you do. All right, so let's take a couple other questions. I'm going to find something to drink over here. I know I had a water somewhere. My throat's getting kind of dry. Okay, Dwayne said he got a high ticket niche. Awesome. Good to have you in there. And if you guys ever need anything, if you ever have questions, just go to PCMoneyMaking.com. Uh, Alyssa's there all day. We got um, Jacqueline there. Um, so lots of people ready to help you. Okay, how long before the niches you provide are active and producing results? Uh, depending on our workload, right now we just got done with a bunch of them, so we're kind of open. Um, but uh, usually like two to three weeks we have it up and running, and you can get results like the day it's up and running. You just got to go and, and do what we teach you to do. Um, so theoretically you can get results the same day. Um, Again, results not typical. I don't know what you'll get. You might get no results. But if you follow this, do you guys see how it's kind of like a foolproof proof, uh, way to get going? And Dwayne says he talks to Alyssa all the time. Yeah, she's great. Um, she started here in Florida, but she moved like back where I moved from in California. So kind of swapped places, but uh, she's great. Okay, so any other questions, let me know. And we'll take those. Uh, David says he's been following me since 2009. Good to have you, David. All right. Dwayne says he's in California. Good. We are in Central Florida, which is why we do the 10 o'clock webinars. All right. So any other questions, feel free to type those in the box. 
David says, I'm, I've become a real good teacher. Good, I hope I am getting better. And I think the dog is out here somewhere. I thought I saw something. Or maybe it's a bird. All right. All right, so I don't think there's too many other questions. Again, um, the links in this video you want to pay attention to. Uh, HighTicketNiches.com. If you can afford it, go get it. Uh, it's nine ninety seven. We give you the domain. We give you the niche. Uh, we give you pretty much everything. We set up the site for you. Um, we'll give you the plan, and you just go for it. Or you just make it work. Um, and then you go from there. CartProfits.com, if you want to get that, uh, get the trial. It's like a dollar trial. Stay as long as you can, even if it's confusing. If you already signed up for Kartra and you're a little confused, don't worry. You're part of the community. I got your back. We're taking care of you. Okay. Um, let's see here. What do we got? How's the dog doing? Dog's doing good now. Uh, will I be in live chat this afternoon? Off and on, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Ray, you would have to ask them about that. I don't know the answer. It's kind of like a closed-knit thing, but sometimes they will. Okay. Good content going for the high-ticket niche. Awesome. Glad you like your content. Cool. All right. So that is about it. Hopefully, I'll be able to splice these videos together and put them up for you and uh, get you a good replay. But... Uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Again, there's a lot going on, so make sure you get your notes at downloadmynotes.com, and uh, we'll go from there. Alana says, where exactly in the Simple Sites course do we find the instructions for building the WordPress blog? That is under the setting up your shop icon. Okay, so really cool. All right, cool. Thanks for joining. Go get your high-ticket niche. Get us on live chat. I'll be there for probably 30 minutes, and then I'm going to go get lunch. So if you want to go to live chat, uh, just go to highticketniches.com. At the very bottom, there's a little button that says Marcus is online. So let me turn it on so it actually says that for you. Um, let's see. So we're going to go there. Uh, where is it? Live chat. Uh, I'll turn that on. Uh, Danny says, how do you get the simple sites reduction on the high ticket niche? Danny, uh, just go on live chat. So go to highticketniches.com. At the bottom, there's a little thing that says Marcus is on live chat. You'll see it. It's a little square box. It's got my picture on it. Click that and then say, Marcus, I want the upgrade link for the high ticket niche. And uh, you'll be off to the races and I'll get you that link right away. Uh, if you do it right now, I'm actually on there now. Uh, I could see there's a lot of people sitting, hanging out on it. Um, so you can just activate that and you'll be good to go. Okay. All right, Kevin, see you Friday. Yes, Friday, 10 a.m. We got a great training here for you um, on how to use cartprofits.com uh, to set up all your stuff, which is great. I've actually been using it, and some of the emails you guys have been getting uh, have been from that, which it's been really good. And I actually made some sales in it too. Um, started that out with the little button that I used. And also, one thing I want you guys to know, if you are interested in the Kartra thing, um, I'm actually going to be giving everyone who orders through my link my Kartra hacks because I actually I, I want things to work the way I want them to work because I know that that's what gets conversion, right? So like if I have an order button that I know doesn't get conversion, I need to make it work. So I actually had my programmer help me with some of the things to where he can change things around and I can make it exactly what I want. And we actually give you those hacks. So you just type in your image link and boom, you're ready to go. Uh, so it's really cool. And you kind of need hacks to everything, right? It works really good. Um, so we'll give you those as well. So, um, yes, if you want a high-ticket niche, you can get us on there um, on the live chat, and we will help you uh, get that link, help you make it work. If you have any questions, get us on live chat. And go out and make content and multiply your profits by making more content, setting it up the right way, and let's make money online together. Look forward to seeing you in High Ticket Niches, highticketniches.com. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next training.